We have all been told that Jesus died for our sins. So think about this with me for a little bit, okay? If sin is such a bad thing, such a horrible thing that is deserving of punishment, and my sins is something that I did, why in a perfectly functioning world with a perfectly functioning brain will I want somebody else to die for my sins? It's like I commit a crime and I go to court and I'm judged and then I am hoping that somebody will go and serve my sentence for me. How is that normal? I am now convinced that it takes a fundamentally mentally confused person, dishonest and wicked person to expect for an innocent person to pay for a crime that you committed. Even if Jesus offered me to die for my sins, I would say no. I would die for my own sins. You understand? Now, if Jesus really was an innocent man, let's just pretend that Jesus was real. If Jesus was innocent, I, didn't, I don't want him to die for my sins. Let me die for my sins. If God wants to have mercy after I've died for my sins, let him resurrect me after. But accepting that an innocent person should pay for a crime that I committed. Something is not right with that logic. That's pure wickedness. That's wickedness. Those of you Christians running around, Jesus died for my sins, Jesus died for my sins. Why? You don't want to pay for those sins yourself. Plus, did Jesus ever come and tell you that he died for your sins? Did he tell you? Now I'm, now I'm speaking uh, uh, backwards English. Did Jesus ever tell you that he died for your sins? Yeah, just follow his stories that other people told you. You build your whole life around lies. And then you get so old. So because of you've been in those lies for so long, you fight and die defending it. Isn't it amazing how Jesus died for your sins, but those sins don't go anywhere, they continue to be there. There is no visible or noticeable change in anybody's life when you claim that Jesus died for your sins. You are still committing those sins. You just get really good at hiding them. Mm -hmm. 